Yeast, a tiny but powerful story. What you see here is yeast. Like a mushroom, it is a sugar-craving fungus, but much smaller. In fact, unlike a mushroom, it is made up of only one single cell and thousands of them can fit on the top of a needle. You would never be able to see one with the naked eye, but you can see what it does, you can taste what it does, and you can smell what it does. There are more than 6,000 known species of yeast. They live on plants, on rocks, in water, and both on and in animals. Some would say that they have a wide variety of talents. Of all of the different species of yeast, baker's yeast is the most well known. It has become famous for an exceptional ability. It ferments sugar. In other words, it converts sugar to alcohol and CO2. It makes bread and cakes rise, it gives the aroma to beer and wine, and it also makes champagne bubble. Because of this, yeast became important to humans very early on, so much so that we spread it across the globe. Wherever yeast appeared, it defined human culture. Archaeological excavations provide evidence that the brewing of beer was a main factor in the development of human settlements. To harvest grains, it was necessary to stay at a site and cultivate the crops. This changed human culture fundamentally, with yeasts in the midst of the transition. Agriculture and farming developed, densely populated cities with the central administration were founded, knowledge exploded. Property ownership and laws, trade, diplomacy and warfare were developed. Humankind is still living with the consequences of that shift. Without yeast, ancient history would have a very different story to tell. Beer and wine, and the contained alcohol, contributed to the world we see today. Alcohol can cause us to overcome inhibitions, it can make us careless and it can affect our decisions. Life in nature is often based on communities of various organisms. Our little friends, the yeasts, are no exception. They often thrive in close contact to insects. These quite unlikely partners share a common love, sweet stuff. However, they cannot live on love alone, and so they help each other to find their food. When yeasts ferment sweet juices, they produce various aroma compounds, which direct insects to the fermenting sugar sources from afar. The yeasts, in turn, use the insects as flight taxis, bringing them from fruit to fruit. The mutual benefit can go much further, though. In cold climates, yeasts survive hard winter frosts in the intestines of insects. At the same time, there are some wood-eating insects, such as termites, that can chop up wood but cannot digest it. The yeasts in the termites' intestines ferment the wood's constituents to alcohol, feeding the termites. There is no doubt that yeasts are powerful. In the 19th century, Louis Pasteur proved that yeasts are responsible for fermentation. With his research, he had a huge impact on the development of modern baking and brewing technology. People learned to cultivate yeast and to keep undesired microorganisms away from the process. This was good for us, as the quality of bread, beer and wine improved significantly. Researchers continue to better understand yeast. The finding that yeast can absorb something, convert it internally and secrete something else is utilized more and more today. The Institute of Microbiology and Microbial Biotechnology at the Boku in Vienna studies the use of different yeasts for the manufacturing of products for human use. This is achieved by genetic reprogramming. In other words, the abilities of different species are combined into one, building a unique, small yeast machine. This has been successfully realized already, for example with yeasts that enhance the production of pharmaceuticals, or yeasts that produce plastics, making us more independent from petroleum, and research is ongoing.
scientists at the Boku Vienna built a yeast that can absorb CO2 and convert it into other chemicals. In the future, yeast will be able to convert CO2 into biomass that can be used to feed animals and maybe us humans. This yeast will capture CO2 from the air to help us curb the climate crisis. We can even imagine that one day, on space missions, this yeast may produce food for astronauts and materials for spare parts. Yeast will continue to accompany us. It will continue to demonstrate to us, bubble by bubble, how a tiny fungus can create massive change.